Hi, I'm Imani. I'm Josh. I'm Reginic. What to do, I'm Ronald. Hi, I'm Mike Tanae. Hi, I'm Mikhail. I'm Jay Hedda May. And we're here to talk about water politics in California. California water politics are complicated. We're making this video to learn about the major conflicts of water politics between Central Valley farmers and the San Francisco Bay Estuary. Let's start with the Delta Smelt. In the 19th and early 20th century, the population of the Delta Smelt rapidly declined. This decline pushed the FWS to raise the status of the smelt from threatened to endangered in March of 2009. This tiny two to three inch fish is vital to the food web of the northeastern San Francisco Bay Estuary. Now let's hear about the Central Valley Farmers. The Central Valley Farmers are an important part of California's economy. California is known as the breadbasket of the U.S. because it can provide food year-round due to its mild climate and fertile soil. So our state moves water from the other parts of California to the Central Valley. Over the years, farmers have been promised this water and invested their lives into the land. So we debated who needs the water more. Delta smelt is just a two inch fish that only lives for one through two years. The delta smelt need fresh water input to their habitat and for survival. Produce prices go up because farmers grow less crop. They live in the delta for many years until they cut off their water to give it to other parts of the state. Because delta smelts are so small, they get caught in the punts. In March of 2009, the delta smelt went from threatened to endangered. Central Valley create jobs. Yeah. Farmers get 80% of water and their runoff helps pollute the watershed. These farms also stimulate the economy. Because farmers don't have enough water to grow their crops, they're trying to sell their water. These farms produce cheap food for our families. Farmers are being greedy and they don't want to share their water. The farmers were promised water by the government. The farmers don't have their own water. We still had questions, so we went to the Pacific Institute. My name is Mike Tanae. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Why do farmers think they deserve water? Back in the early 1900s, when they came out here to settle land, um, they made agreements with the federal government that the government would build dams and big canals to bring water from the wet part of California, which is in the north, down to the southern part. Um, and at that point in time, the government started building those, those projects and guaranteed them a certain amount of water. Why did the government promise them that they can have water when they broke their promise? That's for a variety of different reasons. One is that they never actually finished building the projects that they had planned to build. In addition, people didn't really understand the climate of California when they first came out here. And so our climate is called a Mediterranean climate. It means it's really dry here in, in the summer and it's wet in the winter and that we have a lot of uncertainty between different years. One of the reasons why there, weren't, there wasn't as much water to provide to the farms in the last few years is because we've actually been in a drought and that's affected both farms and fish and it's led to even lower population numbers for the Delta smelt. Do you think there's a solution to all this? You know, our work shows that there's a lot, can be, a lot that can be done in terms of water efficiency. So we can use our water better and continue to do the things that we like to do. Um, we can wash our clothes with less water. We could brush our teeth with less water. Um, we could water our lawns with water that's been used once before, called gray water, or recycled wastewater that's been cleaned. Um, on our farms, we can use less water by using different kinds of irrigation techniques um, and uh, starting to look at the way that we manage the soil moisture and covering the soil with mulch and cover crops that allows it to stay moist even when it, it gets drier. Thanks for, Thanks for coming, coming out. out here. Yeah. You know, when we first started our research on California wild politics, we thought the main struggle was going to be between Central Valley farmers and Delta smelt. 
After talking with Juliet and getting, doing more research, we realized that it was more complex than we thought. The real problem is that we take water for granted and think it's unlimited. You see, due to California growing population, inconsistent weather, combined with climate change, our water resource has become scarce. However, we believe that there should be no losers in California when it comes to water. If we learn to use less water, stop polluting the water, and address climate change, we can help our ecosystem stay healthy and support our farmers. Water is too valuable to waste. Let's make it last. Water, water politics are complicated. complicated. What do you think? Should I go? Yep. <laughs>